So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released, you would be updated instantly. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a tutorial, right? Where I edit, you know, some social media posts for say a restaurant or someone who sells food online. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're, you know, an entrepreneur who owns a restaurant or a food business and you want to design your social media post, you want to give it that premium brand look, uh, watch to the end because I'll be sharing with you an important way to get that done easily at no extra cost, right? So the tool we'll be using is called Canva. Now Canva is an amazing design tool, especially for people who are not pros when it comes to designing. So you don't need to get Photoshop or you know all these other complicated software which which can sometimes to be honest look very scary canva is user friendly it's easy to use and you can do everything on your own so i designed these posts and so i'll be showing you how to design one of them and i'll be leaving the template down in the description section so that you can click it and have free access to it so if you want to edit it into something different to make it your own you can do so with no hassle at all, no added cost to you. If you don't have a Canva account, I will leave a link as well so that you can click it, open a Canva account, and then, you know, you can make good use of Canva. So without much I do, let's jump right into it. <music> And another thing is that this place is pretty noisy. So forgive me if you hear some sounds because, you know, there's uh, some tracks passing by all the time. So please bear with me. Now, the good thing about Canva is that they have an app for the Mac. They have an app for Windows, iOS, Android. So they have you covered basically. And the nice thing I like about it is that once you start something here, you can continue on another device. So for example, I like to edit on phone on the go, right? But if I'm home and I want to do some really detailed edits, I can have my Mac do that for me. So I have Canva opened and as you can see, I have this really amazing looking screen. I'm going to create a new design and what we are doing is a, is an Instagram post. So I'm going to click Instagram post and it's going to give us a 1080 by 1080 screen to work with so this is a perfect square now the first thing i want to do is to get the basics into the screen so i'm going to come to elements i'm going to search for gradient so i'm going to type in gradient so there you can see all these you know shapes there's blobs of shapes or whatever they call them i'm going to select any random one so I'm going to click it and once you click it, you have it here. The nice thing, as you can see at the top left is that you can customize the color. So you don't have to make do with the color they're going to give you. You can actually edit it and customize it to the way you want it. So I'm going to drag this a, a bit. Let me make the screen a little bit smaller and I'm going to fill this part of the screen. So now you're going to change the color. I'm going to click on the pink and choose red. And then um, choose this color, maybe make it yellow. Yeah, I think yellow works. I think I want something a bit richer. So let me, okay, yeah. So this color works. And then the next color, I'm just gonna click this. And as you can see, once I click this, you have this side um, available. Once we click it, it shows you all these amazing colors you can choose from. I'm gonna choose black. And this is what we're going for. Uh, by the way, I have this for reference, so I might be just coming back to look at how this was made. It won't be the exact same thing, but something similar. So, yes. So, going back to this, uh, maybe we want to name this food post, right? So, call it food post for Instagram. 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 Good. So we've named it and this is what we have. Now, the next thing we want to do is import our first food item. So it's going to be a burger, certainly. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to search for burger. And then we have all these, oh, impressive images of burgers. 
Now, the nice thing about Canva is that if you subscribed to their pro subscription, you have access to all these images for free. You don't have to pay extra. Everything here, you have access to totally for free. So I'm just going to go through and pick an image I love. So I think I like this image. And once you click it, it appears here. And you know, it's, it has this white background. We don't want the white background. So we're going to click effects background remover which is very important like it doesn't matter what you do or what you're selling on social media you have an image that has a background that you don't want now background remover makes it simple because just with a click it is going to take everything away it's so simple and i just love that with just one subscription you have access to all these really amazing tools that can you know add that value to your business so um i think it is done and as you can see this is looking good already i'm gonna center it um right about okay i'm trying to center this thing okay i think this is the center i think this works and so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna add something called fully loaded right so we're gonna add text i'm gonna click text i will click add heading drag it to the top let it be centered let me just make this big a bit so that you guys can see more and then i'll call it fully loaded so fully loaded wow now what we're going to do is change the fonts i i want something funky yeah so um let me see yeah i think i think this worked you know not bad fully loaded now this is called the fashionista font so the thing with canva is that if you want access to their library of fonts you need to go for the paid version right so i think fashionista should be one of their paid fonts so as you can see there's a crown icon close to it so that shows as a paid font but once you pay for canva you have the canva pro subscription you don't have to you know you don't have to pay for all these smaller things so i have fully loaded here i'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then i'm going to put this rectangle I'm going to call it, let me, let me just type in rectangle and see what's going to pop up. Okay. Rectangle. Let's see what we can find. Um, I think I'm going to go with this. And the nice thing is that this, you can actually make smaller and uh, you can drag it. All right. Yep. I'm going to change the color to yellow. And yeah, I think this is something I'm going for. Um, I'm not really digging this, um, I'm not really digging this fashionista font. So I'll try and see if I can get another one. Mixer. Um, mixer is not bad. Hmm. Yeah. I think I like, I like how bold this font is. So yeah, so fully loaded. Now we're going to add the fully loaded pizza. Now, what, one thing I like to do is sometimes I like to group stuff. So you can just select this, select this. Sorry, I'm going to, so you, once your hands is on shift, you can select items and then you can click group to group them. So then now you can just control everything together without having to worry about individually controlling them, which is pretty cool. So now I need to add the pizza. So add another text, add heading and caps on pizza i'm gonna make this bigger change the font to the font color to white and then i'll just have it kind of centered and the nice thing is that you can actually work in layers so i'm going to send this back because i want it to appear behind the burger to give it that you know professional look now the font you're going to use is called cheddar gothic cheddar gothic stencil i just like how funky this font is um i have it centered and i like the fact that with uh canva you can clip stuff so you can easily clip to the center so fully loaded pizza now i'm going to add some kind of some splash drops animations on either sides so I'm going to come to element and I'm going to look for splash. 
to see what's gonna pop up. Um, hmm, I kind, kind of a number of options to choose from basically, but I think I, I'm digging this one. So I'm going to click this one, make it a bit smaller. I like the fact that I can change the color. So I'm going to make it white, have this here, and then I would make a copy by having my hands on alt and then I will flip it horizontally. You get it? Make it a little bit smaller, you know, so add this funky vibe to it so let's go back to this and we're going to just add the things at the bottom now so the thing i want to add now will probably be order now order now so i'm going to create that i'll basically use this right but i'll just change the color from yellow the background color from yellow to white so i'm going to Click on Alt and drag just to make a copy. And then I'll change the, the text to order now. And then I'll change the color to white. Wow, this is looking good already. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add some icons. So we're going to add Facebook, Instagram, and the WhatsApp icon, just so that people would know, you know, the platforms they can reach you on, basically. So I'm going to type Facebook. Like, Canva gives you everything. Like, you don't need to go outside the app to access anything at all. You have access to everything right here. So as you can see, I've not opened Chrome. I've not downloaded anything. Everything I want to use is in the app. So I click Facebook and then I love this really secular icon. I'm going to make it smaller and we need to take note of the size. So the width is 60, height 60. I'm going to make it 56. You know what? Um, let's make it 50, right? Let's make it 50. Maybe it can go smaller, but let's make it 50 first. I'll make it smaller after. So we have Facebook. Now you can see there's something called magic recommendations. So it's going to kind of anticipate that you would need other icons. So you can click see all to see all the other icons. And yeah, I needed Instagram and then I needed WhatsApp. So you have them under magic recommendations, which is pretty cool. I'm going to change the color of Instagram after clicking it to white. Make it 50 by 50 just so that I have, um, you know, matching icons. And then I'm going to finally add WhatsApp. So you can drag like the way I did instead of clicking sometimes, which is pretty awesome. So you have all these options when you want to design anything in Canva. This, I'm going to try and see if I can make 50, around 50, you know, 54, 51. I think it's not bad. Because, you know, the icon kind of looks different. It's not really secular like the other ones. But let's see what we can do. Um, hmm. So I think it's a little bit bigger. So 49. You see? 48, 46 works. Now what we can do now is to select everything. And then we can make them smaller together. Right? So let me go back to see how it looks. Yeah, I think it looks good. So now what we're going to do is also add our telephone number and the telephone sign on the left side. So to do that, I think I'm going to still use this font called uh, Mixer. So I would click the font. Um, I did copy and paste and then I'll ungroup this delete the border and now i have just the text i'm going to change the color to white and then i will change it to the number of the business 024713322229 sorry 229 yeah i think that's it so i have the number here yeah so i have a centered move maybe move it here a bit and then sorry i added another page and i'll look for the phone app Right, so we have the phone app, the phone icon. So I'm gonna make it 
50 no this is actually maybe probably more smaller than 50 now because i made it smaller um so let me just make it smaller to the size of the number yeah this looks about right scented looks good let me come back to see how it looks yep i think i think it looks good to be honest now the last thing i would want to add is i'll go to elements and i'll add like a what's it called it's like a background so i'll, I'll type in food background Yeah, and it's going to give me like an overlay, which is what I actually need. So now I have this really cool overlay of food. It gives the whole artwork that, you know, premium look. The nice thing is that I can change the color. So I'm going to make it white, right? And then I'll adjust the position, send it backwards, back, 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 back. Um, maybe bring it forward. And then I would adjust the transparency or the opacity of the background. I think this works. I don't want it to kind of overshadow the Pizza font. Um, let me add an effect to the Pizza font to give it some, some vibe. Yep, I'm going to choose black. And yep, I think this works. Now I'm going to come back to the background and increase the food background and yes guys i think this looks really amazing this is social media ready right this you can put on instagram now and you will be able to get people to come to your business and buy some burger do you know what i just noticed this is burger and i wrote pizza my apologies we're gonna change that to burger oh my god I am actually fantasizing about pieces. That's how come I wrote it. So yeah, so burger, make it a little bit smaller, center it. And I think, yeah, so we have this here. So you, you guys can see, this is just something simple that you can do in Canva. But to get all these, you know, features, you need to have Canva Pro. And um, I absolutely love how it came out. So now we are gonna download the image. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can't increase the size, but you can, we have like a variety of ways you can save this uh, social post. So you have PNG, which is high quality image, JPJ, PDF, PDF print, SVG, MP4 video, and a GIF actually. So you can actually make this into a GIF. We'll leave that for another video, but what we want to do today is save it as a PNG. If you do have the pro version, you can increase the quality size. So as you can see right about the side, it increases as you increases as you it increases as you increase the the number, right? Or the controller, sort of. So now we're gonna leave it at one because 1080 by 1080p is what Instagram requires, and it kind of works for us. So we're gonna click download and it's gonna download the project so that we can put it on social. So it's now downloaded. I'm going to go to my finder. I'm going to go to downloads and then I'm going to click this. This is what we're able to come up with. I think it looks gorgeous. The quality is perfect and uh, I'm, I'm actually okay with what I'm I came up with. Like I, I don't really have design experience. I'm not like a Photoshop guru, but I did this. If you're going to show this, if you're to show this to someone and say, Hey, I did this, you know, and the person is going to be like, wow. And if you tell the person you didn't do it in Photoshop, they'll be shocked, you know, but this is, this is just one of the things Canva can do. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I go by the name Soji Gray. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that when I release a new video, you will be updated instantly. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.